Okay, Chief Architect, Chief Talk Users, I got a really cool video to share today, and that is how to sync multiple user libraries without overwriting one or the other over the cloud. I don't know if I even <laughs> described that quite right. The goal here is we've got multiple users or multiple devices that are using Chief Architect, and we want to be able to sync all user libraries into one user catalog seamlessly without having any overwriting issues and we want to be able to do it over the cloud and this has been an issue of mine for years and I finally figured out a workaround and it's awesome and it works perfectly for me so far so um, a little bit of disclaimer we're going to be utilizing a couple different catalog locations uh, within Chief Architect, which is the Chief Architect Bonus Catalogs and the Chief Architect Manufacturer Catalogs. And so um, the case in point is that I've got one user and they have their user library located. Let's just open up File Explorer. We'll give you the example. So in my Z drive, I have, this is my user library. I've got another user that's got this user library another user that's got this user library so we've got three users in this case right we've each got our own user libraries it's each they're each in one single cloud service right this is in one drive this particular ones in Dropbox they're being synced to Dropbox all three users can see these three user libraries inside of this user library it's named user library even though it's user library to folder it's still named user library and that's important it needs to stay that way but these are three separate users user libraries so this could be called Frank's user library this could be called John's user library anyways let's get past that back in the chief I'm just gonna do a couple things I want to copy paste some information and that just makes this job easier I'm gonna go under my preferences general tab folders and I'm going to note the location of my user library. And let's just open, I'm going to get the sticky notes and just paste it there. This is quick and easy. And then get back and I'm going to show my pathing for the manufacturer library, which let's just click show and explore. I'm in Windows 10, Chief Architect X11. I get to click in this window and copy. Alternatively, you could right click on the folder properties and get to the location and copy as well of that you'd actually need to right click on the manufacturer libraries properties get the location here as well um, but I'm just gonna copy right here go over to sticky notes to another line and then back to chief and let's just go to the bonus library show that in Explorer and same thing I want to copy this location. Sure, it's actually the same location because we just got to the root, right? Okay, so I have those locations. I'm going to note that, look, in my user catalog under user libraries for user one, there is one item called test. In user library, that was my cat that you might have just heard meow. In user library, um, two, there's a material called test two in user library three, there's a material called test three. I'm only telling you that because we are somehow going to get those material items into this user catalog, although they are in completely different user libraries. So let's shut down chief and I'm going to go to a website that's going to make this job a lot easier and I will include this in the link. It's a freeware shell extension. I encourage you to do donate to whoever wrote this because it's a fantastic little bit that saves a lot of headache. And at the very top of this page, let's see if I can even get my page up to work. It's not. Is, you know, quick start. You just click on download. It takes you back down to this. And I'm going to get the 64 bit version. Download it, install it. And the first thing it's going to want to do is shut down um, File Explorer, and you just let it. It'll shut down these. That's why we saved this pathing, is because now I'm going to open up two windows. Open one, I'm going to hit Control New. I'm going to hit the Windows key right, 
and tile these side by side. And so in the one view, I'm going to grab this so I get this location, paste it. There we go. There's my user library. Actually, I want to get to user library too. Okay. In the left window, I'm going to get back to this location. Okay, and I'm going to go to manufacturer libraries. So, note that I am in user library 2, which has an item in it called test 2. And I'm going to right click on this. And something that's new here is you're going to get a new line item after you install that shell extension, which is pick link source. And this uses a script built into Windows called symbolic link. And that makes a hard link to a file. I'll kind of explain that a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and click on this, left click on it. I've now selected this as a symbolic link. I'm going to bring it over to the manufacturer libraries. I'm going to right click in this window. And there's two more new line items. Cancel that link creation or drop symbolic link. It's going to bring up the administrative control. Um, and then what you're going to see here is look at this let's see if we can increase the size of my it looks like a shortcut but if you hover hover over it it's called sim link because it's a symbolic link the size of it's zero bytes but the difference between this and a shortcut is when chief goes into its manufacturer libraries and sees this file it doesn't see it as a shortcut it sees it as this user library and when you place this user library inside of the manufacturer libraries it will show up alongside your other user library in the user catalog. So to explain this further, the, the reason we're doing this is because if we synced manufacturer libraries across all three items, that could possibly work. There's just a little bit more power in, in this because maybe the pathing of user A's manufacturer libraries is different from the pathing of user B's manufacturer libraries. So this works in that we can keep it all in one cloud sync, all in one location, and and forward this this user library link to to um, wherever it's located in your cloud service. So the next thing is we'll go over to let's just go to the bonus libraries. I've never tried this part before. I've only done one, so let me let me see if this works. Same thing. We're gonna right click on this guy, pick link source get over to the bonus libraries and drop symbolic link same deal and so user library under user library 3 folder has a material item called test 3 so now we've dropped those two links in there let's open up chief and just gonna open up a file to have something open And fingers crossed, look at that. How cool is this? This is so cool. So now I've got a desktop and a laptop and another user working remotely from some other office. And we all three have our own user libraries and they have their own items in them. And they're syncing together seamlessly in one catalog if these were within folders they'll show up as separate folders as well but they won't show up as separate folders as in you won't see a folder that says oh, well let's give an example let's do this we might be able to get this out of the core library too so i have my original there we go my original user library let's pick link source there it is let's shut this down and let's see if we can get four in here. That'd be crazy. What do you think? I guess only option left is core library. So let's see if this will work. I'd be really interested if you could get four. So in this user library, I've got a bunch of folders, subfolders, etc. Let's see if that pops up. 
So if this works, it should show um, not only that test one, two, three, but also all of my folders intact in, in the correct named folders as I had them. Oh my goodness. Amazing. This is my original user library. That's from user library one. This is from user library two. They open up just as they should. So I guess the thought here is, if you've already got a library and you're already syncing that library, make sure that everybody starts with that library. But then every subsequent item that any one user adds to that library is going to show up in you know, their own pathing. I guess the trick you're going to have to figure out is the folders may duplicate themselves if you don't create new folders for every item. But this is syncing across four devices now. Pretty clever. I love it. Anyways, I hope someone figures out an awesome way to do this. I know I'm going to be messing around with it because I've got another user that I share with. And, and this is just, I don't know, this is such a time saver. Maybe you name your folders, you know, user one's drafting tools, user two's drafting tools, that kind of thing. But uh, so I hope this helps someone. I'm so excited. All right. Take care.